Hi, I'm Jordan and today we're going to be taking a look at the 3M AccuSpray system. Okay, so first of all, before we start priming, we're going to have to look at what we've got in the kit and there's a few other bits and bobs we need as well to actually use the gun. So, the first thing we need is the AccuSpray gun itself. This is a full setup along with the fluid needle. It's got everything what you would expect on a normal gun. And what we need to do is clip the front bit of the gun onto it. So for that, we've got two different spray gun setups. We've got a 1.4 and a 1.8. So we've basically got a wet on wet setup and a high build primer setup. And for the one today, we're gonna to be using the high build primer setup. So all we need to do is just clip the front of the spray gun onto the AccuSpray. And all we do is slide this cap on and to make it easier to actually attach to the gun, there's these two little black buttons here and if you give them a squeeze quite hard and push, it connects together nice and easy. Same for when we're replacing it or removing it, all we need to do is squeeze those two black tabs, give it a bit of a pull and it comes off. So that's the front clipped on and we also need our pressure gauge so we can just put this one on. This comes with the kit, what we've got today. So it's the gauge at the bottom because there isn't any pressure adjustment on the actual gun itself. So you will need a gauge on the bottom. I will tighten this up in a minute with a spanner just so we don't get any leaks. So that's the gun set up. So we've got everything we need to start spraying. The only thing we do need now is a cup to go on top. Now the PPS system is obviously the cups as well, so we're going to need the PPS cups. So I've got that one here, and also we need the cases for the cups as well. So we can pop those in, screw that on, and then we can put that on top of the gun. So first of all then, before we start spraying, we need to mix the primer up. So we're going to mix the primer up in our PPS cup and then we'll attach it to our AccuSpray and then we'll head into the booth and we'll uh, prime with it and see how it uh, holds up. So for this task we're going to be priming a wing and we're going to be using u 2025 which is the 4 to 1 high build primer in black. So let's go ahead and mix the high build primer up in the cup and then we'll head into the booth and uh, see how we get on spraying the AccuSpray. So what we're going to do now is pop the cup onto the AccuSpray. So we'll just get the AccuSpray and all we need to do is turn the gun upside down, push the gun onto the PPS cup and twist just once and then we can turn it over and we're now ready to prime. Okay so we're in the booth and we're going to be priming this wing here. It's already been primed before but I've just prepped it up ready to prime again. Um, it's just a training panel I've got lying around. So we're going to prime this. I'll prime the edges as well. So you'll probably see me going all the way around the back and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll prime all the edges in the face. I'll prime it twice and uh, we'll see how we get on with it. I've only used the Acu Spray a couple of times before. So um, you'll see pretty much what I get, you know, from using it first time really. So let's uh, go ahead and prime the wing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and prime the wing. One thing I will say before I actually start priming is that this atomizing head I'm using is the 1.8 setup. And after speaking to a few guys on Facebook, um, it turns out the best one to use, what they found, is the 2.0 setup. It just helps get that bit extra primer on there and you get a better finish. So, um, you know, this is this 1.8 setup, it does do a good job of getting the primer on, but I have noticed it is quite textury and quite peely. Um, and they said you know they got better results using the 2.0 so I can't comment on that one just yet until I get some um, but the the primer does spray quite nice I can go quite quick with it as you can see and the finish is acceptable the gun is very different to a normal spray gun it's different to use but you know it just takes a bit of getting used to like it is with every spray gun really I'm used to using others and not this one so after a few plays with it I'm sure I'll get used to it and just in case if some of you are wondering, I'm using the DeVilbiz Pro Visor Airfed with the new SATA overalls.
and I just thought I'd show you the different spray fan patterns that we can get using the gun so the first one is the fan fully wound out and I'm just going to screw the spray fan adjustment in a little bit and I'm just going to show you how far you can take it down so this one is the spot so it doesn't go to a complete circle but it does go to a very small fan and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the big fan and I'm going to just take it down slowly to the small one just to show you how easy it is to get that fan from the large to the small one it's pretty much like a normal spray gun really at this point okay so let's go ahead and put our second coat on the panel so we've left it to flash off for around 10 minutes and I'm just going to go ahead and do the edges again followed by the face so again just like I said earlier really I'm taking my time with it I'm using just the black 2k high build primer from Upol just because it was some I had lying around really and then we're going to go and do the face now one thing I have noticed is try and when you're actually using this try and slowly work down your panel with your overlaps don't um, try and go too quick with your overlaps so again you can really see it on there now you know it's quite peely uh, which is not what I'm really wanting but you know we can always sand it down afterwards this gun setup is two bar spraying pressure I've got the fan all the way out along with the fluid needle all the way out as well. Okay so we finished priming our wing so now we need to clean the gun and sort everything out. So all we need to do first of all is what I normally do, just press the trigger in and just give it a bit of a shake and let that primer drain from the gun just to try and get the most of it out to start off with. And then once we've done that, we'll just take that bit off. Obviously there's a lot of paint still inside here, so um, what we could do now, if you really wanted to, if money was no object, we could chuck these away and I'd be done with it, not bother cleaning. And we could just chuck the PPS cup away, chuck the front bit off the atomizing head, and then that's it, no cleaning involved. But if we wanted to try and save costs, but we still want to use it, then we'll take off the atomizing head and then we'll clean this and then we'll be able to save it for another time. So what we're gonna do is we'll head over to the gun wash machine. I'm gonna clean out the atomizing head while it's on the gun, just squirt some thinners through it, try and clean it as best as I can. I'll see how well I get on with it um, and we'll take it from there. So cleaning the AccuSpray. It actually is quite easy for saying it's a primer gun and with the atomizing head being clear really helps because you can see all the primer inside the atomizing head so you can carry on cleaning it until all that black primer is gone so that was really a positive point really that you can actually see inside through it to see if there is any product left over so that's a good positive point you can always make sure these are clean really and at least you won't put your gun back on the shelf you know not fully knowing whether there's a bit of primer left over inside the gun or not so all I'm using is the safety clean industrial duo and I'm using the manual wash on these I don't use the cycle machine anymore really I try and use the manual brush wash and then I'll use the clean wash at the top which jets out um, just because I don't want anything is getting inside the gun so as you can see now I've got it good clean with the brush and just the leftover paint like what's really inside the cap that I can't get to with the brush I'm blasting it out now with the spray and you can see on the video really how clean it is it's gone from black to white and on, it's, you can't see it on camera but in person you can really see into that fluid tip what's inside there so I'm just checking now to see if there's any primer I think at this point it was actually clean there was no primer left in the fluid tip at all but again just a good visual inspection make sure it's all gone and then all I'm going to do is connect it to our air supply that's running on a very low pressure so it's not going to uh, spray into the mixing room and we're just going to get rid of any leftover thin as what's in the cap 
and then that's it really I'm just giving it a good visual inspection making sure there's no primer left over at this point because we can always just put it under the clean wash if needed and that's it for cleaning the gun it was actually quite easy nice and quick that's the priming process with the 3M Acu Spray. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some of more of my videos on the channel and check out my Facebook and Instagram and also the website as well. Thanks for watching.